W. Prince Ministries. All praise, glory, and honor belongs to God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to speak to you today regarding the dangers of church policy and denominational theology. A few years ago in Washington State, a United Methodist pastor admitted to being a practicing lesbian and was actually living with her female lover while serving a church. And although the Holy Scriptures condemns homosexuality, the United Methodist Church Book of Disciplines usurped apostolic authority and affirmed the practicing lesbian as pastor, which gives us evidence uh, that denominational theology and policy has replaced the authority of Scripture in the church. There are varying degrees of examples of this type of moral insanity throughout Christendom. In most contemporary churches, the title of doctor holds more authority than pastor, bishop, or elder. Academic degrees, scholastic titles are now the prerequisites for pastorship in churches. Denominational membership and some blind allegiance to some church theological policy determines who occupies the office of pastor in a church. God's divine calling, anointing, and appointing no longer has a place in the church. God's theocracy has been replaced by the church's democracy. People have actually gone crazy. The church has lost its mind. The scriptures plainly state that women should not occupy or exercise office of authority over men in the church. Yet, that's exactly what has been allowed to happen in today's churches. Many have failed to see the perversion of God's divine order in the church. Many have failed to see uh, that this is an abomination before the Lord. Many have failed to see that this is equivalent to spiritual lesbianism. They fail to see the deception of Satan that has corrupted and usurped God's authority. They fail to see the corruption and deception of Satan that has denominated the church. I'm not going to belabor the point or be bothered discussing this any further. Those who want to support this demonically contrived notion that women can be pastors will never hear the truth anyway. As with most forms of wickedness, they only want to hear what supports their way of thinking. This is one of the tragedies of man-made religion. It deafens its followers to the voice of God, whereby they only hear their own voices. They only hear humanity and not divinity. They only perceive intellectually, but not spiritually. They serve a master that can never save nor deliver. It only offers false hope and certain damnation. For the Bible says, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. The scripture also warns us out of Second John that if we commune or have fellowship with such people who oppose God, then we also oppose God and are guilty before the Lord. After all, what fellowship has light with darkness? What communion has demons with Christ? Harden not your hearts. Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye holy. Repent. Thank you for allowing us the privilege of ministering to you through the anointed word of God. We are excited about what God is saying to his church through the preaching and teaching of Bishop O.W. Prince. We trust that this message has been a blessing to you. We invite you to become a part of this kingdom ministry. To find out how you can best support this ministry and help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, call us at 803-720-2026. Again, that number is 803-720-2026. Or email us at anointed at sc.rr.com. The Word of God says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that He gave. And in Ephesians 5 and 2 it says, Christ also has loved us and given Himself for us. God is a giver and He wants us to be like Him. So let each one give as He purposes in His heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. Forgotten loves a cheerful giver. As 
as you give into God's ministry today, remember, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Life hurts, 